Welcome to Kitty Plays Morrowind. I'm Nighty, the Black Panther Kitty, and I'll be the host for this episode. The last episode, we avenged the attempted rape from the naked guy by killing him. And now we are trying to search the husband of Falanu and Darren, whom we are searching for a while now. And I think I'm going to check the journal staff to see if I can find more information. So, let me see. Um, I want to see if there is a journal in here. Nope. So that's that's the problem. You only have journal entries for those for these texts here. And I can't ask I can't ask about the wild leaks sounds. But she will um... speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. She will not give me any information about that. I can check that. We checked that last time. She said something like, "There are three of them." Blah blah blah. Well, he said, "Well, we know the name of her husband, Travel in Darren. Okay, but she didn't say where he fled to. You can see there is an entry for Dreadrill in Darren. If there was, if there was, it would have been pretty likely that the entry is also here, and we can ask her about him. Because where else would we have gotten the entry? So there is there is one certain way I can do this, which I don't want to do. Or two certain ways. One is um, looking looking it up in a guide where he is. And the second is opening my save game in the editor and then actually checking where, where the entity is located. Um, and these are two things that I don't want to do, so I'm going to... This, this fella here, hoping that healing means that the storm goes away, of course it doesn't. Because it's nearly always stormy here. This right. okay. The enemies always sound the same. As long as you don't damage them. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice. I can see again. So now I haven't, I haven't checked over here. So I'm going to do this. I'll just stand still for a f or fly still for a bit. See if the electrocution reaches until there. Yes. Oh, look over there. There is someone. This could be the husband. It also could be just a thief. But it could be the husband that we are looking for. Let's see. This would be a rather fortunate encounter then. And indeed, it is Trerel Indaran. It is the guy that we are supposed to find. Very nice. Electrocute this cliff racer though. Fully heal and then look at this nice sunset. I think is I always mix those two words up when the sun goes up and the sun goes down. I think sunset is when it goes down and the other word I actually don't know, but it's very nice. But we have a quest to do, and maybe we want to go back before it's dark. What do you want? Hey, Dreril, I'm going to bring you back to your wife. You've spoken to Falanu? Then she's alive. Let's get back to her quickly. Yeah, that's what I'm here. Come on. Let's get back to her quickly. It's good that you climbed up that mountain. So the hounds wouldn't get you. That was very sensible. Although you could have worn something that uh, makes you more visible. Can you climb up this mountain with me? Can you come up here? 
Even very steep for me, so I'm sure if you. Ah, there we go. Nice. Yes, there she is. Come on, your wife is waiting. Look over there. There she is. Thank the gods, we found her. I never thought I'd see her again. You finding me has truly been a blessing. Thank you so much for your help, Nighty. I wish I had more to offer you, but please take this book. It is it has meant so much to the two of us. I can only hope you find as much enjoyment in it as, as we have. Take care. Oh, he gave us a dance in fire, chapter two. And also... I kind of want to do this book reading session, but on the other hand, when I do this, I want to have like a nice place with a fireplace and stuff in the game where I can then stand or maybe even sit. I think sitting isn't even possible in this game yet, but where I can be and it's a nice, nice cozy environment and I just read the book then. But yeah, thank you. Goodbye. Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. Falano, look, it's Treron. Aren't you happy to see him? Well, it seems like she is. Okay, one more quest we can scratch off of our list. The husband west of the entrance. Now, let us see about quests within the mighty walls of Aldruin. Let's head inside and see what we can do. Oh, I don't want to get kicked by the Silt Strider. Silt Strider service. First of all, our home, the Mage's Guild. How may I help you, Khajiit? Basically, I'm looking for duties. Do you have any duties for me? Speak with and winner. She's the guild's. Oh. Try to. The voice. Speak with and winner. She's the guild steward here. How's that sound? Trying, trying to learn to do voices. What's it said here? Oh, Himla. Himla. Do you have any spells for me? Sweet. Weary, burn, destruction, enervate, spite, light. Not really. I could learn summon spells, but it's kind of not my style. I'm not the necromancer type of, type of player. Okay. Let's see, she's the traveler steward and she only can do travel services for me. Okay. That's a trapdoor. Which I could untrap, but um, I don't see why. Okay, Edwina, I think she has. Yeah, so um, Edwina sends me to the ruin. Ruin. And Runa. Dwarven. Ruin. Need to keep it short here. So she wants an excavation report, okay. Um, Dwarven ruins usually Share your lots thoughts, of money. Friend. I enjoy the company. So this could be a quest that we are taking next. Mm, she 
sells things. Okay, I'm going to sell these two back because I don't need them. I'm not the fan of scrolls. Is there something I can do scrolls, for you, to be, Alexander? To be honest, I never use them. Barter. Restore fatigue. Restore Magicka. And there we go. Well, what have we here? Interesting. Okay, I am... going to stand here and going to do a little teeny tiny break from recording for biological needs okay so with my biological needs taken care of I, I can continue so the question is should we do this quest and I personally think no we should not head to the dwarven ruins instead we should first check out if this town city whatever has more quests to offer especially some that are inside the with that place. I don't want to go to the fighter skill, honestly, because they're the fighter skill and I'm a mage. It's like some kind of, you know, not liking each other. I think animosity or something like that is the word. Hello, Tonto. Do you have something that I could do? Oh, wait. There is this blades entry, so it seems like he actually is a blade. Do you have something to. The guide to Eldrun. I don't care about the guide to Eldrun. Honestly, athletics, alchemy, and unarmored skills. And training is very, very expensive here. Speak quickly. I am speaking quick. I'm not talking slowly, am I? Hello, Elding, the pawnbroker. Well, what do you have to sell to me, pawnbroker? Uh, I'd say worthless junk. Fifty-six, forty-nine. One-handed. Well, actually, that iron short sword does look very, very good. So I'm going to buy this off of him. Thank you very much. Now I need to assign it to that quick slot. Thank you. And check out what else do we have. There is nothing in this corner. Astral. Astral, what can you do for me? Spells. So I'm looking for a spell that um, charms people. Do we have something like that? Do you have weaknesses? Command humanoid? No. Summon skill. Poison. Distract. Sleep. No. Sorry, you don't have anything that interests me. I guess you use sell weapons or something. No, you don't do anything. You're a bard, and you can't sing anything for me. That's too bad. Say your needs. Honor among thieves. Noble like arrow part one. You've gained knowledge from this book. Well, they also can't do anything for me. I think these are all patrons of that place. Okay, let's check up. Check out upstairs. Ah, fellow Kaji. What do you need? Ah, uh, Drotazar. I'm actually looking, mainly looking for spells. I don't suppose you have them, but um, it's still nice to see another Khajiit face here. Honestly, it's so rarely that you see, that, that I see people of my own kind. Nuriel, he's also just just a random patron. Same. What do you want? Well, I don't want to 
Oh, Aang of the Jeweler. The Jeweler and he asks me if I want to join the Thieves Guild. No, thank you. I'm not going to join the Thieves Guild. And if so, I would ask... I wouldn't ask you. I would ask um, one of my fellow Khajiiti back in Balmora. Don't block the way, please. Okay, nothing. So the red in the pot is a place for thieves. So for the thieves guild. Good to know, but I surely forget. What about this person here? Torian. Nothing. This is just the private home of some person. This is where this Torian fellow lives. Guild enter the house. Free of any. Hello, Gildan. Oh, you, you do offer spells, that's good. Burden, burden. Feather, I, I do know feather already. Fifth barrier, concealment. Oh. And she trains. Oh, so. That's a, very interesting for me. Someone else downstairs who can. Maybe something over there's a book which doesn't give me any skills. Okay. Up here is the temple. Another peasant's house. They all basically look the same. And I'm allowed to enter them because, uh, or I see that I'm allowed to enter them because it doesn't tell me in this quick tip. I've got a mod installed that shows me if I'm allowed to open a door or, or take something. For example, if I take this, if I want to take this or open this inventory, it shows owned. So this means opening this inventory would be stealing. And even if it's owned by a guild, then it will show me which guild and how strong my um, standing with the guild has to be in order for me to be allowed to take it. This is the fight music. Let's try out the new shorts or Which hits equally seldom, but should do more damage. I violated the law. Okay. Yeah, uh, okay. Here's 40 gold. Kill this guy. I don't know what I did to violate the law, though. The game doesn't tell you also, so... Galgratov. Galtragoth. Gal also just some guy. Seems this to be a better drinker. be important. Stuff thrown all around. And the last hat would be someone. Speak, traveler. Out. Well, they can't do anything for me, so. for me to belong to the temple is to practice compassion Vivek often showed compassion to his enemies you must show compassion by curing Bolfum Grashugarts a Shiogorath worshipper in Mal Kashini take this potion of cure blight you can cure Bolfum by giving her the potion but it's expensive I would prefer you learn a spell such as realms gift and return the potion to me well can we learn that spell somewhere? What is the... The effect? Cure Blight Disease, okay. So I need to learn a spell which cures Blight Disease and 
have my restoration skill leveled up enough so I can be spell her. Shanti. No. Sorry. I look for spells. Go. The best thing would be if, if, if it just was viable here. Resist blight disease. Fortify. Well, this is cure blight disease for one second on self, but I need. Well, this this will give me the. This will give me the effect. So now I can use spell making and say cure blight disease on touch. And as you can see, it's already spell chance minus 17 percent. So and point cost 101. So this means uh, I'm, I'm so bad at, at my restoration skill that it's actually undoable for me. Okay, and I can't afford it either. Well, uh, doesn't what matter now. Let's see if there's any more to do. Or no, no, let's first add this temple compassion heal blight disease from someone. And let's head downstairs. So, okay, I'm not ranked up enough to barter with him. shaped house donut of course it's a croissant it was just saying the wrong word oh it's the manner of a person more vain oof oof means someone is fighting um second if they are fighting if there's fighting going on i should first Restore. Since I'm a member of the temple, I can sleep in their beds. So I'm going to do that. Restore my health and magicka, and then come back. Until healed. So th that's what I mean. It says faction owned temple, rank layman. ghosts in there, to be honest. So I'm going to drop a quick save and see what we can find. Okay, a locked door. An unlocked door. An unowned bed. That's interesting. This bed is not owned, so I could actually sleep in there legally. It would be awesome if I could buy this place. Okay, whatever there is, it is in this locked area. Let's see what kind of this feather. This opens 50 points. And we have a 60 point lock, a 70 point lock, so this is two. Too strong for us. Spooky. 
house. Just adding this to our shadow quest log. And yes, no work for me. I sold an Ashlander handcrafted racer suede belt to a customer. But he has failed to make his final payment on time. If you would find Yenis Arendas and get back my belt <coughs> sorry, or get the overdue payment of fifty septins he owes me, I will pay you twenty five gold. Well, where can I find this Yenis Arendas guy? The young fellow's family has lived in Aldrun a long time. His parents died recently and left him their house and estate, but Yanis has fallen in with a fast crowd. I believe he's taken to drink an expensive liquor and has incurred some gambling debts. He's a charming lad, everyone likes him, but he's not very sensible, and suddenly becoming rich seems to have made him an irresponsible fool. Okay, I will, I will see to what I can do. Do you by chance sell any, have any tell funny bug musk you can sell me? doesn't look like it. Well, didn't her try and did it. So, we are debt collecting for someone. So, who's this? A bookseller. We're, come, we're going to become big friends because I want to have a huge book collection at some point in time. Where are you? I can only see Gart walking around. Ah, oh, you were hiding. So he has lots of books and I'm not loving this place. What's this about? Okay, let us out again. A pawnbroker. What do you sell? Of course, lots of weird things. I think that was the engraved ring of healing we got at the beginning of the game, if I don't remember. Uh, if I don't misremember. And there is this one little house in the back, I guess it's also just a private old one. Oh, it's a little here, and then I'm going to do the debt collection because it's within the city. Oh, she also has some work. I'm going to do the debt collection first. I'm going to write down that the clothier, clothier, has some work. this fella. And I think that's already him, Yenna Sarandas. So it's down here and should be the first one on the left. Hmm. 
doesn't look like the home of someone who's been drinking. Let me see if I'm... It is the correct person. Okay. Door unlocked and... Um, let me try to just... If I can steal the money somehow. Look, he, he owes it to someone. I'm just going to take it from him. Steal it back, kind of. But it doesn't look like he's neither there nor he's got the money. And being there might pose a problem. We need to find that person. Okay. How about asking the neighbors? Hello, Drainer. Oh, the famous Varian family. Tell me more about your family. Surely even a foreigner has heard of the Varian family, no? Then I do not want to waste my time educating you. I'm the only here to study local pottery techniques. Yeah, it looks like you're doing lots of pottery. I will listen, Alpander, but make it. But you don't know anything about your neighbor. I guess I could ask you. Elscar in. Just looking, uh, uh, every time looking on this side, if I see the name Fresh for Game, if I can ask for that person. But it doesn't seem like it. So the question is, where are they? This is just the list of things that they are that the city what has to offer, basically. My time is precious, so make it quick. Well, I think I'm going to end the episode here and try to figure out where this guy has ran off to. And next episode, we will see if we can get the money that he owes out of him. Bye-bye and see you next time.